Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with Frankie Stein from the Monster High's Ultimate Secrets Collection. It says that she has 125 plus looks and 19 plus surprises. And there's supposed to be 17 pieces. This is the back of the box. This shows um, the different dolls that you can get. And Frankie is my favorite in this set. So we're going to open her up and take a look. It says that we need water, but I'm hoping really that we don't need water. So let's see. Okay. That tape. Looks like this tape. This tape. We're gonna try to to uh, do it without water first, and then if I really do need water, then I'll get water. Okay. So the she's not too hard to get out of the box. Let's move that out of our way. So then you're just left with her coffin. So you got four surprises in the doll. There may be more surprises in there. I haven't really watched. I tried really hard not to watch anything. So that I could open her with you guys and be surprised. Okay, first we got this. This is probably instructions, it looks like. Show you. So you need the water to reveal the key. But do you really have to reveal the key? I think we should just try the different doors. <laughs> And then you can keep the keys on the skull keychain. That's kind of neat. Let's see. Okay, I've got her out of the box. Except for this little tag on the back of her head, and I'll get that later. It's uh, been a long time since I've bought Monster High dolls. I gotta say, their hands are better quality than they used to be. And their arms. So, there she is. She's got her black, blue, and white hair. And she's wearing her pink zap shirt with her blue blue plaid skirt with lightning bolts on it. And then she's got these cute little boots on that are clear. And then she came with this key. So we're gonna open that up and then we're gonna try the doors. So I guess the key is what's supposed to color reveal.
Okay. That's really neat that she's able to stand up on her own. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try each door. Oh, they all open with the same key, I see. I'd rather not use water because in the instructions it says it will uh, it can stain if you get it on some surfaces and stuff like that. And I'd just rather not. So this is a black and white jacket. It's got black black and white uh it's like a buffalo check sleeves the black buffalo check and then a black vest and then she's got a silver skirt and then this top kind of looks like her skirt here And then another key. So I'm assuming if you color changed it, you could go in order that they want you to go in. But that's okay. <clears throat> then in the second door. We got her cute little hat, another key, and I really love this hat. I think this is cute. It reminds me of a hat that, um, on this show that I used to watch called The Tribe that was based on some children that were basically left alone in the world and one of the tribes uh, one of the boys wore this hat so then there's these green earrings here along with this necklace Oh, those are cute. Oh, I wonder if something else is in here. I think. Oh, maybe not. Well, since we got the green key. We're going to go down here to the green door. And open it. I like her little coffin too because that gives us somewhere to store her and put her clothes or if we just want somewhere to put her clothes, that's a great, great thing. Here's some yum cereal. along with an iced coffee. Those are, those are neat. I like those. And it looks like a charm.
Oops. Out of curiosity, let's see if the green key opens the pink door, and it does. That's our last key there. And of course our key ring to hold our keys. And these cute little silver boots with black bottoms, black soles. Those are cute. Yeah. And I think that's it. So let's see. I'm going to dress her in her other outfit and I'll be right back. Okay, so here she is dressed like the box. She's got the clear boots on and she's got this cute zap pink shirt on. This reminds me of the 80s, 90s. And then her little white buffalo jacket. And I left the boots on her, but. I think I like the other shoes better, so we're going to try those. We'll try these first and see how they look, and then we'll decide. Here's what her feet look like, if you wonder. So I do think I like the shoes better. In my opinion, I like the shoes better. This is something I would have wore in the 80s or 90s. Because that was what was in style back then. I don't know. Is it coming back around? That's probably what it is. Is the 90s style is coming back around? Let's see how she stands in her shoes. I do really wish she would have come with a stand. I always say that about everything. Everything should always come with a stand. Because even if children collect it and play with it, it's just better for, for them to have stands. So here she is with this cute hat. But you can always sit her down. Oh, we forgot our earrings. They have a long post. I think the the hat is my favorite part of her outfit. Uh, my second favorite would be the shirt and then the shoes.
I would have liked to have seen her come with uh, a pair of pants instead of the extra shirt or pair of pants, shorts, something. But this is probably what I'll keep her in anyway because I really do like this outfit. So I'm okay with that. I don't know if the sitting position is the best position for her, though. Because she's got a skirt on. But there she is. Oh, she has this necklace, too. I don't think she needs that. With this outfit, anyway. But then... You have your spot for your keys. And I think they're all black except the one. So let's do this. Oh my goodness. Because this way, and then say I want to put this one on, and then this one, that one was easier to get out. So there the keys are on the keychain. So that you can keep those together. Okay, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so here are all the accessories she came with. She had a skirt and a shirt, extra plus her keys, her boots, this little necklace, and her drink and her cereal and this charm. And then I put her on a stand that I had for another Monster High doll. So this is what she looks like. And I do think she is really cute. I think she is the cutest of the dolls on this line. So I'm glad to add her to my Monster High collection. Now if you like Monster High, make sure that you click that thumbs up button so that I know that you want to see more videos on Monster High. And make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.